Good morning everyone, this is Star Trek Fleet Command, morning coffee stream. I hope you're having a great Thursday. And we will start right now. Okay. Dust. Okay. Pin deck. Start up the iPad so I can see if anybody is chatting with me. I swear this iPad is constantly saying, There's an update, there's an update. Uh, action. Mm, I'd come back to that. Don't have enough. Need more points. Okay, well, let's go ahead and speed these up. those for right now. Actually, I'll eat with teams I want. Um, let's go over here because I want the traits. Oh, yeah. Still got 10 days or no, 9 days left after this, but taking that 30 day hit. Gave me a lot of extra days of pulls. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm very sorry about that. There, uh, oh, well, I'm thinking about it. There was no stream yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment. So if you're wondering what happened, that's what it was. Ah, 
jump site. Um, I'm always nervous when the website says sign in. Says, uh, a time where the website can hose me yet again. again. All right, daily mission key. <laughs> uh, it's not a warm, fuzzy feeling first thing in the morning when the website says, see, sign in, sign in please. Um, I know I was trying to prep for a one hundred twenty three for ops level. Oh, okay. All right, that's the last piece of that then. Um, okay. I think the buildings are mostly Okay, they're not max, but <clears throat> they're okay. One, I think it's the uh, research. I have to spend a lot of time catching up on research. Let's get the miners going. Okay, okay. We are ready for some bugs. All right. Three minutes and counting. I have, since we have so long before my ship arrives on station, I am going to grab a cup of coffee. Uh, 
So I'll be back. I'm going to mute the mic, but everything else will be running. Be right back.
Okay, I am back, and it looks like I lost someone for over coffee, and I'm sorry about that. But here we go. Uh, let me get the right glasses on my face. I am uh, prepping for the push to 23, by the way. Uh, trying to clear all the builds required. I do have quite a bit of uh, research to do. That's my next goal. Hopefully I can do that over the weekend is uh, finish the research and start the build to 23. Is it 10? I think it's 10, isn't it? Yes, it is 10. Okay, one more. What did we win? What did we win? Gas. I can always use uncommon and rare gas. Alright. Uh, let me start my return trip. And claim the rewards. Yay. finished. Let me look at this real quick. Scientist. There we go. I knew I had... No, I have him already. Let me look real quick. Yes, I do. I'm thinking there is a... another trait that I need to unlock, and I can't think of what it is. I I think it's less common. Um, the 
than the ones I'm currently using, which are Diplomat, which are, they happen almost all the time. The scientist is not an unusual one as well. But for the life of me, I cannot think of which straight it is. Here. Okay, still returning. We're going to do the 22 bugs. Lord, the uh, microphone is sensitive. Mike, me up. You back it off just a tad. It seems to be really, really sensitive. Anyway, come on home. What? Well, there's an old song. Come on home, something. Oh no. Get Along Home, I think, was the name of the song I was thinking of. Get Along Home. But I don't remember what the Get Along Home. The rest of it was. Now it's bugging me. I'm going to have to Google that. Cindy. Get along home, Cindy. Last performed... Uh, that's right, I don't know why I thought of that all of a sudden. Ricky Nelson did that song in a John Wayne movie. El Dorado? No. Something else. Something else, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I am an old man. hair stuck to my lip.
done here. Yep. Good. Okay, well, three minutes. A little, little travel time. Just a little. speed up my research. I have a speed ups to earn for it. Gonna need those for um they jump to twenty three. I'm gonna burn them here. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on. this for the push to 23 that's a requirement and I'm working on the shuttle bay for the missions away team missions so looks good got 40 more Klingon points I may be able to go ahead and pull my faction Perfect, perfect. Whoops. Go ahead and pull those. Well, okay, awesome. Pull the mini fraction, <coughs> fraction credit officers as you can. <clears throat> Okay. So 
I had I turned the volume down just a smidge. It seemed to be overwhelming. <laughs> And that's coming from someone who has a 30% hearing loss. 20% in the right ear and 10% in the left. I've got to make my final decisions on what hearing aids I want to buy. And make sure they are indeed a hearing aid and not a uh, sound magnifier, booster, or whatever you want to call it. There's a difference. Restaurant, I'm at home. I'm sure it's mine. Hey, good morning, uh, Mr. Swiss. Um, I am on server 15. I started over from a server 90 account and decided I wanted to go to a more mature, older server. Uh, where they understood the difference between Farmville in space and Star Trek Fleet Command and the requirement to be willing to PvP if necessary. <laughs> You're on 100? Cool. Uh, you know, I, I don't know that I can answer that, but I'm going to say that probably not. In, in that, you can have server row and alliance row. Some servers don't have a server row. Some alliances, or some servers have alliance row and some have server row. The ones that have server row, the, the, common theme seems to be no UPC kills. Uh, that seems to be a standard and that any warship is uh, fair game. Pretty much anything that comes after that is really up to the admirals, if it's a server, uh, up to the admirals of the server to decide what they want in and what they want out. It is not uncommon to find that uh, you can't attack in territory space or something of that nature. It's not uncommon to find you can't attack in uh, token space, which for good reason. Um, not uncommon, even though this is not token space. The swarm uh, systems are usually off limits, but that's not that's not a given. Not one hundred percent. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that before. That's not uncommon. About the miners and uh, zero node and uh, OPC. Token space, uh, it's easier to show you than to tell you, so let me demonstrate. Come on. This little cog right here, that, re that, if you click it, you find out that you need something to get in here called a token. And the only way you can get to this 
system right here is to have in your possession this token. Uh, that's why it's called token space. So there you go. And there are there's quite a few of those. Um, the swarm systems are not those, but your uh, your your um, board probe systems. Almost all of those are uh, token space. But the nice thing is that your um, system hang uh, missed it. Ah, thank you for the follow. Really, really, really appreciate those. Everyone I can get, I appreciate it. Trying to get to 50 followers so I can apply for affiliated status. Um, the So when your mission says kill Borg probes, you can actually go into this uh, these systems here with the red cloud around it. And those are the... Um, The, uh, the whale looking things I forgot now what the hell they're called uh, worms those are the worm systems and there's some all along here so you don't need a token as you can tell you don't need a token to get in here um, so any any of the missions that require Borg probes I believe I'm true and correct in telling you this any of the missions that require Borg probes you can do them here with the um, worms um, and you do not need tokens to get to these things and your lowest level one are these two 27 uh, board war, uh, the worm systems here Usually they are not. Uh, there is, when you get a Vidar, you hit the level where you can own a Vidar. Some of the events will require you to go kill uh, Borg probes. Uh, and you do require a, a uh, token for that. But as I just explained, if you don't have the tokens, I think I'm like... 90% positive that you can go into the poor the worm systems uh, with the red clouds around them and complete your event that way oh man I am so jealous that is that is my uh, that's my dream ship right there I have Klingon faction and I'm working toward the D3 that is awesome Awesome, awesome. That's where I'm headed. That D3, it's it's a good little ship. It takes a pounding and is quick and cheap to repair. I love it. Uh, I had a separatist version on uh, server 90, and I was I just love that ship. It's big brother at level 28, ops level 28, I have not had, so I don't know how it performs. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, staying at 29 to get your officers locked down is, is a smart move. Holy crap. Oh, this is a 15 system home. Who's my, who's my partner here? Ah, somebody got himself a jelly. Good crew. Just got blown up, I think. Yep.
Yeah, that is an awesome uh, crew for your PvP. It's also good for PvE. So it's one of those things where you can use those guys uh, for either way, and they they work great. And I think I think if you swap out one of them with um, Gala, you can run Armadas. You'll have to play around with it, but I think you can swap out Spock. And use that same crew with Gala for our armadas, and that works well. Oh, okay, cool. Jeff Day and Seven of I. Oh, yeah. Well, I was I was offline for 30 days because of Scopely, not because I did something I shouldn't have done, but because their website hosed my account. And I was offline for 30 days before Scopely could get me fixed. So that Chocote and uh, stuff like that in for the entire month of August just about, I didn't get any of that stuff. Not a single thing. Let me repair here and uh, see if I can get the Q stuff done. And I do this, at, in case you're just catching me, I do this every morning, Monday through Friday, 7 ish until 8 30. Um, I don't know, my sleeping pattern is jacked up, so I started late this morning. So about 7.15 before I started. But normally I'm up before 7, so I can actually start at 7. So I'm here every day, Monday through Friday. Yeah, I was really, I was really, really annoyed. I think six different uh, CSRs went through my tickets. I know I exchanged at least 20 emails with these people trying to get this done. Yeah, yeah, that was what was that was another thing pissing me off. The, uh, I mean, when you start purchasing packs, and and some of these packs are not cheap, you get locked out of your account. You might as well have set fire to your money if you can't get back in there. So, and uh, apparently the CSRs are getting paid to keep the problem alive. They're not trying to solve it. They're just trying to email you back and forth so to keep you hanging. <laughs> oh, so I haven't hit your level of spend on this account. Uh, well, maybe I have. I have spent, at the time I got locked out, I had spent about 200 plus. I'm not sure if I hit 300. But since I've got my account back, I know I've put down another 100 and maybe a little more. So I'm probably four, between around four, maybe not more than four, probably not much less than four if it is less. And uh, I don't want to lose my account again. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let me go here and we're going to see what I got to go. Uh, it's Talon already on the bridge. Let's do the interceptor trial first. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Saladin is definitely your 28 ship, 100%. It's a, it's, it is a known bug on that particular ship. Let me check my bridge crew. Give me a sec. Yep, good to go. Um, that it fires extra shots, uh, and that's why it's uh, so desirable.
yeah, you get, I, I don't know if it's all guns, one gun. Uh, the person that told me that, because I was asking, it's like, why is everybody raging over this Saladin thing? Uh, doesn't appear to be any better than any other ship. And uh, they said it gives you, ex it has a bug, it gives you extra shots. <laughs> it's like, oh, say no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, once I get the, um, the D3 and the one above it, I think Pharrell maybe, um, at 28, I will switch my faction or add my uh, Fed faction so I can grab a hold of the, uh, uh, Saladin. The Mayflower, it's, it's paper. Uh, it's not worth, uh. Not worth building. Come on. Straighten up, fly right. Oh, 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 that hurt. That hurt. Now we got a, a 28 minute countdown. Or not 28, 14 minutes. Okay. All right, I am going to let me make sure. Yep. Let's work on my faction while that counter is going. Let's go piss off some ROMs. Twelve minutes. Forty-five. Okay, Mr. Swiss, thank you for the follow. With your follow, I am at forty-five followers. I need five more. Awesome! 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 <laughs> yeah, they uh, they did a good job of uh, preventing people from reaching affiliate status easily. I, I know it was a change a few years ago because I re vaguely remember, and I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning him, uh, Rev Deuce. He's another Star Trek Fleet Command streamer. Uh, one of the... One of the... Uh, I guess you would call it Premier streamers him and DJ DJ's uh, with a Z uh, and he was complaining about just getting his ability uh, or his affiliated status and he had been streaming for probably two years at that time maybe more maybe less but I vaguely remember when I first started 
catching his string that he was complaining about it and the hoops he had to jump through to get it and at the time I was like what are you talking about dude what's the problem <laughs> now I know now I'm well aware of what the problem is <laughs> Yeah, if I can get the 50, the concurrent chatters, it's not going to be a problem. The, the problem is I'm a, a, a introverted, geeky SOB, and um, <clears throat> I, don't, uh, I don't normally have a circle of friends that big. So getting people who don't personally know me... Uh, is the trick for me once I have the 50 getting five of my friends to log in and start typing stuff at me won't be difficult at all unless it has to be done over you know like a month's time or something like every day for a month or whatever So yeah, I'm a, a and now to and this is a good and bad. It's good because I can do this. The bad is that uh, I'm more isolated from my coworker. So I'm a permanent work from home now because of the COVID uh, crisis. Everybody, most everybody in the office uh, went home and stayed home, and I chose to do so as well. Uh, so a lot of my coworkers I don't uh, interact personally with. I, I mean, I do get on uh, video chats and and uh, uh, chat messaging kind of stuff with my coworkers. Um, so that that's been a uh, a boon and a bust. <laughs> <laughs> As they say. Hey, I'm still got six minutes on that counter. Fourteen minutes doesn't sound like uh, a long time until you're clock watching. <laughs> uh, okay, good. Yes, 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 yes. Lord bless us, everyone, for the uh, for the speed ups. I don't know if you have any. I've been burning through mine like crazy. I've been uh, well. I raced to twenty so I could get a. So once again, short story long. Once again, Scopely hosed me in that one of the missions was to go and test your your warp capabilities and early missions like level six and the point of the mission is to put uh, Scotty on the bridge so you can reach that said uh, system 
the system that Scopely pointed me at, and this is pre knocking me offline, was a level 30 system. Um, where is that bad boy? Uh, right here, this one. So that level 30 system was the one they gave me for that task at level 6. As you can imagine, there's no way in hell I'm going to get to that system as a level 6 player or with any ships that I can get at that level. So, so I raced to 20 because I figured I would have a ship at level 20 to make that mission and un unlock the, all the missions. So I call those the Maya missions. They're the missions that uh, the little uh, AI pops up in. So it's these missions here that, that was jammed up. And I spent like six hours one day uh, working on those missions once I got the thing unlocked. But anyway, so everything was everything was jacked up. And my build, my research, all that stuff. So I spent a lot of time catching up and then I wanted to get to 22 so I could get the Bach. But now, now I'm finally, I'm finally caught up with everything that needs to be done. I'm where I should be. Buildings and research. In fact, I'm cl pretty close to doing, to finishing up the um, combat research. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can believe it. Ah, uh, um, a suggestion if you have tried reaching those uh, things with uh, Scotty on the bridge, the other character or uh, character officer <laughs> that you can use is uh, oh, it doesn't show here is um, Grush. I don't know if, if you've tried putting a uh, crush on your bridge but he has a six percent boost to war range right here that may help I don't know I don't know if you tried it ah okay then it is definitely a uh, up Upgrade event in your future. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, I'll have to. I have to go back. Uh, where do you get those? Are faction ships right? Horizon. You get those in the faction store. Ah, okay, gotcha. Um, I was thinking, yes, the, the Verizon was um, in a uh, was a was a faction ship. Um, did I miss it? Amalgam. I uh, may have missed it. There it is. I did miss it. Okay. Yeah, these. Yeah, you you said in the chat what I was thinking was that you can grind for these things, but it's a pain in the backside. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Thank you for the follow. Uh, 
Eva had bad Mac. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, welcome to the club. <laughs> so you are number 46 in my list of followers. I need four more to, uh, to hit 50. What was I doing? Oh, here we go. All right, we're not going to retry that. I've already failed it. Uh, let me get the ship home. Did I finish the level 28 kills? 29s. I need two more kills of any level to finish the hostile harbinger. Okay. We've got enough haul. I should be able to do that real quick. Do that one. Oh wow, yeah, Grind, grinding out ship parts. Uh, the worst to me, the worst one is the Franklin. It's the grind is exceptionally rough, and it's not worth it to me. It's 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 so. It's such a long grind. It's it's just not tolerable. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. All right, got my loyalty badge for the day. Wow, I should. I might as well just blow something or let something blow me <laughs> blow me up. I have very little hole left. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the v Vidar is. Uh, kind of a intense and a pain, but I actually enjoy that. I don't know why, but killing the board pros with the Vidar to grind out the uh, nano probes, uh, I don't mind. But the Franklin, I I I dread that every day. I do it. Wow. Oh come. <laughs> Come on. I expect it to go boom. I don't want to have to have a five minute wait or travel back because I know that's what's going to happen. Come on. Put your back into it. Plant your feet and twist your hips. There you go. All right, uh, all right, so Q mission. Let's see if we can't get something done going here. Um, and I need to swap. Oh no, that's correct. She is correct for a battleship. Okay. It's a it is a slog to uh, to level it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I just find this slog more enjoyable than I do the slog for the Franklin. <laughs> but you have to keep in mind that they are going to give you two tokens per day. You don't have to buy anything. Uh, I would recommend burning one token per day until you have, mm, call it four, uh, in your possession, and then burn two every day to uh, advance your um, your Vidar, because they will not. Well, maybe there is a list somewhere about what they're going to do when it, uh, as far as missions or events that involve the Vidar. So I would always keep at least two or three uh, tokens back. Wow, I beat it, but man, I took a hit. Woo! Uh, so that's, that's the way that I was doing it 
What are you? I think that's the burial. I don't. Um, so, tell you for what it's worth. It, it might it might help you out. Might not. Um, but uh, I got caught flat-footed. I caught got caught with zero tokens, and there was an event, and I couldn't do it. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, the botany bay, yeah, the BB, uh, yeah, that's a that's another patience killer right there. That's another slog. Yep. Oh, didn't bring it back. Okay, so I was able to kill off the uh, battleship. So that's good. And I think I can, we'll have to see. I'll, I think I can do the Explorer. I'm not sure. We will find out. Bring those home before somebody kills them. Perfect. All right. Let's see if we can get what ah. Alrighty. We've got another Q mission. We're going to try the Explorer. Hmm. I must have failed it last time. Must have failed it and didn't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to shield overnight and because I have the game up but I'm not actively playing while I'm at work or working on my work computer. Can hear it if somebody attacks me so a lot of times I don't shield during the day and I don't know whether I should be announcing that or not <laughs> but um, because I can hear if I'm getting attacked and I can throw a shield up if I need to so but uh, yeah I always shield overnight if I'm sleeping I'm shielded <laughs> Get a message from where did you move to? <laughs> That's funny. Where'd you go? <laughs> Woo! Made it. That's painful. I can't believe I uh, got two out of three. I tell you, the uh, I need to uh, get the um, D3 <clears throat> going because I don't have a ship that that uh, interacts well with the uh, interceptor. <laughs> Gets his butt killed every time. I 
back up. Sorry, it's on. It has a 10 billion power enterprise. Holy crap, that's a whale. That's probably a whale right there. Bless them. They uh, they keep the game alive by by their willingness to spin, spin, spin. Uh, I just don't like being on the other side of their uh, their uh, barrel when they're looking for a base to pop. <laughs> Let me log into work real quick. All right. Okay, I think I need to shut it down. It is 8.30 uh, and work calls. Um, Thank you so much for the follows this morning for everyone who joined and is uh, watching the stream. I really appreciate it. Also, those of you who uh, are watching the videos on YouTube, thank you very much for your uh, patronage. I really appreciate it. Uh, going to call it here. I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, take care. And Mr. Swift, I hope to see you. Again, Monday through Friday, uh, 7-ish to 8.30. <laughs> Take care, everyone.